Hey guys, Jen I'm sure, and this is another Minecraft Bedrock Edition video, and this is a video on what's new in 1.11 beta. So this includes the updates of 1.11.0.3, 0.4, 0.5, and 0.7. I believe those are the right numbers. So let's get right on over to our pillager outpost, where all my stuff is. My stuff is over here. Okay, so um, the first few features that were removed from experimental gameplay, which means they're fully implemented into the game, you don't have to enable experimental gameplay, are the fletching table, the smithing table, sweet berry bushes, sweet berries, ravagers, the new villagers, the new villages, pillager outposts like that over here, and wandering traders. So those are now fully implemented into the game. So that is a very good thing. It's it happened before the full update was released, just in the beta. So that's pretty cool. So one of the new features with campfires um, is when you use splash water bottle, you can also use that to make the campfire uh, to take to extinguish the campfire, like this one right here. So if you were to put a campfire down like this, obviously the smoke is going here. Um, sometimes it's not working. Sometimes you have to go up close to the campfire. I don't know why. Like if I throw it like that, it doesn't work. Um, so you gotta throw it at like the right angle, just like right here. Um, I don't know why that's kind of messing up, but yeah, that's how you use the splash water bottle to extinguish a campfire. Also, a new feature is with cats. Cats now respawn based on the number of beds in a village. So for every four beds, there is one cat. Um, and of course there's the cap on that there is a maximum number of cats which is 10 cats per village so that's a cool new feature with cats and villagers then another feature is with the wandering trader um, they now drink invisibility potion to escape hostile mobs or when they're hit with um, like arrows or any projectiles they'll now drink invisibility potion so you can't see them so that's pretty cool from the wandering trader and another feature that was added in Minecraft is in the settings. So you go to settings, and one of the first things you see is the new accessibility um, uh, tab. So what's in there is the UI screen reader. Um, also you have the enable text to speech for chat, which helps you, um, if something's written in chat, it will be spoken out loud. So I, I remember they used to have a feature for that, but now it's fully implemented in the accessibility tab, which is pretty cool. It's awesome. Also another feature, a cool feature, is with the bell. A bell can be used to direct nearby villagers into their houses. So that's pretty cool if you ring that bell. I'm not sure if I have one over here. Yeah, I do. Here, it's gonna be pretty loud. I might have to turn the volume down for this. <laughs> um, it will um, direct nearby villagers into their houses. Um, and the last three features that I wanna show you is the new crafting recipes for the cartography table, fletching table, and the smithing table. They have all been changed for Bedrock Edition 1.11. So, if you are to go to a crafting table um, to make a cartography table, you need four planks, so just like um, a crafting table, and you need two pieces of paper. So, you'll have the oak wood planks like this one, two, three, four, and you need some paper on top of that. So, as you can see, there's a crafting table here. And you go, sorry, I put that in the wrong place, so I'll move that. Put the paper right here, and you get a cartography table, just like that. So, the same thing is with um, the fletching table and the smithing table, but I'll show you how to do them. So, the fletching table is like so, but you need two flint and four planks. So, I'll put these flint here, and you get the... I don't know why this isn't moving. Fletching table. And last but not least, you to make the smithing table, you need four planks, of course, and on top you need two iron ingots. Just like so. Let's get there, and you have the smithing table. So those are the three change crafting recipes. If you're still in 1.10, don't worry about those re recipes. They're still the old ones you can use until you reach 1.11 and Java Edition. I believe they both have this. So that's pretty much it for this video. A little short video on what's new in 1.11 so far because I missed a few of the updates, um, videos on those in the last month. So I wanted to just uh, uh, show you, give you a brief 
overview of what was new, what was added in this update. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys for 1,870 subscribers. I think I'm at 1,879. Um, but thank you guys for that. I really love the support. See you guys later. Love you all. And Jed Nemch out.